more useful example about vibrating columns of air, and that is a pan flute. And I like this example because hopefully if you get a question like this on the test, you can remember this demo and remember what happened in it and, and double check your answer, right? So a pan flute, the holes are hollow, the tubes are hollow. So if we want to excite a fundamental mode, we have to have one node in the middle and an anti-node up here. Okay, if you want to understand how that relates to the wavelengths, let's take this and draw out one full wavelength here, up and down. That would be one full wavelength from there to there would be L. And so this middle distance there is actually L over two, one half of, oh, sorry, that's one wavelength, lambda. So L here is lambda over two. Okay. So we fit one, exactly one half of a wavelength inside our open-ended um, flute. Okay. So which one of these will make the highest frequency sound? Well, it's the smallest column there because frequency is inversely proportional to wavelength. And length is proportional to wavelength, so highest frequency for the smallest uh, length and the smallest wavelength. So, ready? <laughs> highest frequency, smallest wavelength. 